Thank you for clicking on this video, man. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Kevin Black, Superman Lewis. And right now you are watching the Attain Your Greatest Physique series, all right? AYGP, hashtag AYGP, Attain Your Greatest Physique series. We're gonna be giving you all the information on doing that. Right now, this period that we're in currently is creating that great workout routine, all right? Listen, I hope you guys like it. Matter of fact, like the video right now if you're excited to watch it. And let's get into these powerful tips. Let's go. If you're new to my channel, who am I? My name is Kevin. I'm Kevin Black, Superman Lewis, all right? I'm a certified bodybuilding coaching specialist, uh, ESA certified, I'm also ESA CPT, personal trainer certified, and nutritionist certified. I've trained more than 60 to 70 guys, women and men, and I've worked in an actual gym for about two and a half years, and trained people in person for over six years. So I got some good experience with that, all right? Enough of me, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're excited about getting more information so that you can transform your body and attain your greatest physique. And I don't care, transform your entire health. All right, guys, this is another part of creating, you know, your great workout routine to attain your greatest physique, okay? A-Y-G-P. Listen, you have to have phases, and I kind of went into this on the last video, but you have, to, you have to set up phases in your workout routine. Why? For one, so that you can continue to progress, okay? If you're not changing things, if you're not giving your body a reason to adapt, if you're not giving your muscles a reason to adapt, why should they do anything? Why should they improve? Why will they, will they grow, okay? We have to cause the body, rather the muscles, to become catabolic so that they can heal and become anabolic, right? You have to break the muscles down so that they repair and come back bigger and stronger. And what happens is, is our body adapts to what we do. Y'all know I talk, talked about this before my, my first live with this. Your body's gonna adapt, your muscles are gonna adapt. So we have to change things up so that the body can continue to grow, right? So, you need to go ahead and assess what phases you're looking to go through and what you're gonna do for the, honestly, for the next six to eight months, man. Like minimum, for real. Like six months minimum. Three, three months minimum, I, I'll say three. 12 weeks, three months minimum, you need to at least have an idea on what you're looking to do in that phase, okay? Because if you're gonna do four week phases, say a, a three month situation, that's fine. You could, you could pull that off. Do three week phases, have one week to deload. Boom, you in there. Uh, but I highly recommend this because like I said, you want to, for one, have a plan on what you're going to be doing. But two, you also want to make sure that that plan is effective, right? That what you're doing is effective and you'll have good results. So I'm going to give you guys an example of doing phases. A lot of times with clients, I like to take their muscles and their bodies through different types of phases depending on what they need. Everybody's special. Say in the beginning, we're gonna, we're gonna set up something for six months, all right? Six months, that's 36 weeks, all right? So you got a whole 36 week period, which would literally be a macro cycle, right? Depending on what you're looking at, but most of the times your full time duration is gonna be a macro cycle, okay? So if you have a macro cycle of six months, meaning 36 weeks, you should be able to identify how long you're going to be doing certain periods and what you're going to be doing throughout this whole 36 weeks and figuring out what your goal is. And in those phases, you should be trying your best to improve and to cause somewhat of a more intensity or, or, or add in more intensity progressively throughout that time frame. There should be some type of progressive overload, okay? You should see some type of periodization to where it's you're trying to complete and accomplish certain goals in these different periods. So a lot of times with guys, I usually start off with somewhat of a, a lower volume, um, intensity, not crazy like that in, in the beginning, maybe like the first phase. I love a four week phase with a, a, a fifth week of deloading. And in each week on that four weeks, there should be some progression, okay? There should be some progression. You could, you could add 10 pounds to some of your movements in each exercise that you're doing each week. Five pounds, 10 pounds, depends on the movement. Um, but when you're doing that each week, guess what? You're causing your muscles to have to go harder and, and they should be getting stronger. And also, it'll also show and symbolize that you're building muscle in that progress and in that time, that time frame. You're, you're in the progress of building muscle when you add 10 pounds a week onto your lifts, 20 pounds a week onto your lifts, depending on the lift, okay? If y'all want a specific video on that, comment below. 
I will give you a video on breaking down how you should be progressively overloading concerning movements and exercises and phases. But with that being said, week one, do your movements. Say I'm, say I'm bench pressing 225. Week two, we're going to bump that bad boy up to 235. Week three, we're going to bump that bad boy up to 245. Week four, we're going for 255, possibly 260. Boom. That's progressive overload. And that will, if you're consistently hitting the same rep range and your weight is going up, that is showing that you, you got to be getting stronger. And if you're getting stronger, guess what you're doing? You're building muscle. And you have to have something like this present in your, in your phases. Also, in different given phases, so say like that's the first phase, boom, first mesocycle, deload, cut down some of the intensity. If y'all want a video on deloads, comment below. I will guide you guys, I will guide you on how to create a deload so that your body will recover well and so that you'll be coming back stronger and better than ever when you start that new phase, all right? Say the second phase after that, we'll stick with adding, you know, 10 pounds to a lift. This phase, we're also going to add a set on every other week, you know, per exercise. And you know what? This phase, we're going to start working on some drop sets, okay? Boom. You go through that whole phase, you're doing that, you're doing drop sets, you're doing some of these things that cause more intensity, guess what? Your body has to adapt to this. You want to attain your greatest physique, right? Right? AYGP. AYGP. Let's get it. You got to take your body through these different changes and different changes in intensity so that your body can adapt. You do all that new stuff. By the time you get to that, that, that fourth week in that new phase, your body is going to be like, yo, I need a D-low week, man. I'm going ham. You got that D-low week. Guess what? Get nice and recovered. Come back for that next phase. We're going to do another phase. Now, in this new phase, we're about to pull out some old other modalities. If y'all want to learn more about different modalities, powerful modalities. And modalities is honestly just different techniques that you could do with lifting weights. You know, different styles, different uh, measures that can intense intensity, intensity for people who are, say, intermediate or advanced. And you'll get a muscle stimulus that you're not used to getting. If y'all want a video on those, well, I'll give y'all some of those, comment below, all right? But then you, you pretty much get what I'm saying, right? You need to have phases in your workout routine, and you need to have a good idea on what you're going to be doing six months from now and what you look to be able to do. And while you're going through it, you can still tweak it because guess what? You might think that by the time you get to your fourth or fifth month, you're ready for this, but you might not be ready for it, or you might need more. So look, guys, this video is on phases. I know it was a while, but this is a very important part. I went a long, I went a long time, guys, without doing this correctly and not having order and structure and how I do my, you know, periodization, uh, my phases. I really wasn't worried about no phases. I just was just trying to freaking lose weight and, and work out, and, and I was just doing stuff that just didn't make sense, and I, I was not attaining my greatest physique. I didn't look bad, but I wasn't looking how I wanted to look. Great. So, look, if y'all found this video useful, man, go ahead and throw a like on the video below. Comment if you got any questions, any thoughts. Shit, if you got ideas, comment below. Let's get it. 2023 was the warm-up. 2024, the takeover.